And then I had heard about Elle and the great results that people were having with her. And I thought, yeah, I want to look into that area. And I knew, I knew stress reduction was good for you. I knew that we all needed to do that. But I didn't know how. I didn't know what the answer was. How do I reduce stress? I know I need to do it, but where are the tools? Where are the answers? That's what Elle gave me. Nine tools that I could use every second of every day of my life when I felt that stress coming on and reduce, reduce it immediately, if not just get rid of it. It was fantastic. I have noticed that my business has increased, I'd say approximately 20% since I've taken Elle's course. Now, I'm the, I'm the contact person here. They don't interact with very many people besides me. And I find myself less reactive to their emotions and their feelings than I used to be. I used to let myself get into their stuff real quick to where I would become upset. And of course, then I'm going to relate to them with that frame of mind, and that's not healthy in a business. Now, with these tools, I can breathe. I can just center myself, and I'm fine. And they sense that, and they calm down, and they trust me more. We have a better working relationship. So like I said, my business has increased, and I know it's because how I treat these people. That I think, too, a lot of people in sales would extremely benefit from it because they're interacting with people constantly. And if we're not aware how to stay stress-free, we interact with those negative emotions. When that's not going to get us the sale, that's not going to form a good relationship. And that's not going to form that good impression that we need it for selling. So people in sales positions especially would highly benefit from uh, Elle's tools. Highly. I had a 17-year-old daughter. Enough said there. <laughs> Um, I'm raising my uh, seven-year-old grandson who is somewhat challenged. He's been identified as ADD. I don't know if that's a correct identification, but the behaviors are there and they can be challenging. Um, my husband walked out, my husband of 10 years walked out on me and left me with a business to run in a 7,000 square foot mansion. And within two weeks of that, I got fired from my job. So yeah, my plate was pretty full of a lot of what could be negative things, but we were able to turn them into positive with the right tools. That day at Greencrest was incredible. The atmosphere in itself, just to be able to be in that atmosphere was just incredible. And the serene surroundings with nature, it just put me in that right frame of mind to be open to what she was suggesting so that you know I could take it in. It was a lot to do in one day, but it was life-changing for me. It was huge. And Elle herself, the warm, compassionate person that she is, you know she cares. Elle is the warmest, most giving, honest, loving person I have had the pleasure to meet in my life. She's not doing this for the money, although we all have to pay our bills, I respect that. But she's doing this from her heart. She really, really believes that we need to be empowered to reduce the stress in our lives, to lead the fullest, completest, happiest lives that God intended us to live on this earth. A lot less physical um, mm -hmm. ailments, not as many colds, not as many sinus infections. Um, even my arthritis did not flare up as much. I felt calmer um, when I had to get into situations normally that would have just sent me right over the edge. I learned to stamp my road band. I learned to breathe. And then I felt empowered again. I felt like I could be centered and balanced and I could handle whatever came my way. I had the tools. The rubber band. I love the rubber band because it grounds me. It brings me back. If you feel discomfort, it's going to bring you back. You're going to be centered again and come back to what's really going on around. Become aware of what's going on around you. And the breathing because I can do that in the automobile. So road rage is not a problem for me like it used to be. <laughs> my daughter has noticed it. That I don't interact with her in that loud tone of voice and that red face and that clenched fist like I used to. It's like, oh well honey, I love you. I guess you'll handle it. <laughs> and for her it's, who are you and what'd you do with my mom? <laughs> so it's, it's been fantastic. We've actually gotten closer because of it. We're just not in each other's faces anymore like we were. 
I mean, we've all been to the doctors, we've all taken the medication, we've all taken the classes, we've had the massages, which are great in the moment, but how far do they go after that? Are they giving us tools that we can use 24-7 in all relationships and all situations? Mm -mm. But um, L's course is going to give you what you need, and it's going to take you through those high-stress situations, those anxious moments, and I have even had it help me in those moments of sadness because I can come back and be grounded and be centered and in reality again. I don't have to carry those emotions as baggage on my shoulders for hours and hours and hours or days. I can let them go. I can move on. And that is so empowering in every aspect of my life. I can't see a reason why anybody would not do it once they realize what it's going to do for them. Well, relationships are going to pr improve tremendously. Personal relationships like me and my daughter. That is huge. I spent my life fighting my daughter. And now I don't have to do that anymore. I can finally love my daughter unconditionally. I have no more expectations from her. And it's improving our relationship tremendously. Personal relationships. You can be honest with the person. If that anger and that resentment is not right here in your face, you can be honest with somebody and be intimate and reveal who you really are. And the relationship becomes so much deeper, more meaningful with that. Working with my guests here at the inn, I can be me and it's okay. I had a situation here, Elle was here with me last weekend and uh, we did a cancer retreat. And I had food to feed seven people and I had 20 people to feed. And I didn't think Jesus was going to come with fishes and loaves for me. So there was that moment when I needed to breathe and to bring myself back to reality and say there is a solution and I can do this. And we found a solution and we fed everybody and we had a marvelous time. And the one girl says to me, you know, you never showed any stress. You had so much peace about you. I just turned around, looked at Ellen and I said, thank you. I like that. When um, we had that retreat here and the gals said, we knew we would come and be pampered and rest, but we did not know that we would leave with the tools we needed to face this life-threatening disease. We felt so hopeless and helpless before that this cancer was going to determine our lives from here on in for the next year or two years or whatever. They walked out of here empowered, empowered with tools on how that they can, they can live that life and use Elle's tools, breathe. Take that inventory, be present to the moment, know that you don't have to be a slave to your emotions and stress in your life. Sure. Kids, young people today, I think they have so many more challenges than I ever did at their age. And their challenges are, of course, financial, finding a job, getting the right education, making the grade, paying back the student loans. Each and every one of those is extremely stressful in itself. So you give them tools when those stresses are there 24-7 in their lives. You give them tools to handle those stresses. They're just going to keep stepping up the ladder and stepping up the ladder. If you're bogged down by that type of stress in your life, you're never going to reach that potential. You're never going to reach those dreams or even go for them. But if you can handle every rung of that ladder, you'll make it to the top. To use Her suggestions and her tools, her nine tools, are not every one of them is going to be a fit for every person. But she gives you enough of them that you can form your own tool belt and pull out your particular tool when you need it. Right. And in one situation, one tool may work better than the other. Like the breathing. When you're in traffic and you're stuck in a traffic jam or you just got cut off and you're ready to hyperventilate, that breathing is awesome. It just brings you right back behind the wheel of that car. And that's where you need to be to be safe. And the rubber band... That one for me is awesome because it's the actual physical sensation brings me right back into. And I, I can be aware of where I'm at and what's, what I'm doing and what is in my best interest in this moment. Is going in a rage going to be in my best interest physically, emotionally? No. Is it going to empower me? Never. So I can use those tools in that way. Uh, how do you put a price tag on your physical and mental and emotional health? What else going to give you? You are going to get dividends and returns a hundredfold for the rest of your life. I don't think you're going to get those returns from anything else that you invest that money in. You are worth it.